Welcome to Brawlhalla. The map banning uh, has finished, and we do have our first game touching down on Miami Dome. Impala started with a pretty aggressive starting, and uh, Raidish realizing, you know what, I'm going to try the two. I'm going to follow up on that. Neither of them really gets the first hit until either one of them picks up a weapon. Raidish is going to get uh, a decent narrow with the gun. No! Impala's able to respond, no! tossing Raidish off stage no! and get a 20 second stock cripple. Good. God, wow, it's no. it's the bow. Impala's bow might be it. I is probably like the best in the game at this moment. <laughs> that was just hilarious because I saw not one, not two, but three, three ground pounds off the side of the stage that Impala lands on Radish. Radish thought he could come back up. Nope, gets hit by a ground pound, and he just still keeps on. going. He He's knows how much of a menace Radish can be. And because of that, he just stopped playing around. He isn't even letting Radish warm up whatsoever. The desync, it, oh my how God. the game just hit one minute. The game just hit one minute. I have no words. I think it's also so uh, Impala knowing that Raid. Okay, uh, okay, that might be stock. And okay, has got nope. some good defense, but there's only so long it can last against a Radish Edge Guard. Um, uh, but still, yeah, I think it's also Impala knowing how much of a threat Radish is and is looking to just kind of end this as soon as possible, saying like, okay, yeah, just like you said, I don't want to give you time to warm up. I don't want to give you any room. I know you're a threat. I'm just, I'm going to end this. I'm sorry. I have to, I have to just stop this. I can't make this any easier for you. Oh, no. Deep no! Minute and a half in. Radish, I mean... Wastes no time for the map banning. We are uh, having. I mean, a change of maps is definitely gonna be damage. very. Where did that one spear <laughs> damage come from? That was. That had to be a weapon throw. That, that, well, that, huh? One I mean, spear damage. A weapon throw. Wait. A weapon throw is the only thing that does one damage. <laughs> I heard you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A map change is going to serve Radish very nicely here as we already have him looking just a little bit better than the last game. That first stock was not looking too bad. There was just a, a moment in Impala's brain where it looked like, oh, you're off stage. Okay. And and then the whole game just kind of happened from, from there. But still, Radish is actually going to quite nicely in this game too. Map change on the bottom. Serving this Petro. Yeah, that was insane first game coming out from Impala, but you can tell that Radish is starting to turn it up. He's getting a little more warmed up now, and the side sync manages to land off the side of the stage. Trying to go for the dare off the side of the stage to cover the wall, but Impala manages to make it back on time. Manages to land the side air onto Radish, but he's just been moving around. He gets hit by Radish's orb and light, and he just trying his absolute best. Nice, Sare coming out from Radish, and now with this lead, he's already done more damage than he did the entire game last game. I don't want to talk about that though, so we move on, <laughs> we move on from that horrific first game. <laughs> Uh, by now, during the last game, the game has already finished, but during this game, oh. it's no one has even lost their first stock yet. Radish's um, uh, development and his uh, his adjustment is looking so, so nice, because all he needs is just a little bit, like one or two more hits to try and remove this first stock and keep the game even. And also, I don't think it's entirely the map, it's gotta be something about the map. Like, Radish yeah. is definitely playing different than he was last game. That's what were you trying to do? Rain Man when you did that. Yeah! Maybe, but I just said yeah because he took his Oh. <laughs> why doesn't why doesn't Ray Dish main Ray Man? What's up with that, huh? Because Orb. Play I mean play acts like it's Orb. Side lights there. I don't know. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Nah. Nah. Alright, either way. Impala is just clearly okay. No, never mind. Ooh. Impala with the dare off the side of the stage manages to get that down air KO on to Radish, and now Radish is down to his last stock in game two of the set. He throws a spear down. Now Impala with the spear in hand. We saw last game he did one damage with spear. 
Okay. So now he knows that he he's he already can, broken the record. He he oh. he's already broken the record with that down air by itself. Would have already broken that record. But that weapon throw oh and the my egg drop. Oh my god! An egg drop too. He's not. He's dead. No. Nope. Oh no, Tesca. Radish is stubborn about the Petra. I, I mean, also, okay. Also, to be fair, the first half of the game was looking really good for Radish. I don't know what started to slip in the the second half of the game. Just look at some. This is an egg drop right here, right? We got an egg drop. Yeah, we got an egg drop. Yep. That, wow. Oh, my goodness. Small Brawl Haven is where Radish chooses to have uh, the game that he hopes will not be his last. Still starting off the game pretty nicely. I think, I don't know what it is. I don't know if Radish just figures, I don't know if Impala just figures Radish out and says like, okay, you're doing this, time to win. Or if Radish just kind of lets something slip and something about his stamina is not quite suited to play against Impala. I mean, okay, who here can admit playing against Bo and trying to outspace that can be pretty tiring, can be very, very mentally draining. And so maybe that um, that is what Impala is, one of the things that he's using to his advantage. Because Bo, I mean, throughout the sets, we've seen him in, has been doing some pretty good heavy lifting. And has been putting him to, elevating him to a pretty good spot to just be two stocks away from winners and finals. The guaranteed podium finish just like, what, 45 seconds in? Mm-hmm. And... Oh, he's not playing. He's he. Yeah, no, he is already eyeing down grants. He is not here to play. Already, he's just been going absolutely crazy. He already saw the vision straight from the beginning, and he keeps getting oh these God. pogo dares. But it, it, Radish manages to get that recovery, he come back onto the top of the stage. But the decent comes out, and this is looking like how game one was looking. That's bracket stock. That's bracket stock coming out from Radish there. The the bones him straight on the top of the head, but Radish manages to get that NSIG KO to at least get one stock off this la off game three of the set. Apollo now with the spear in hand, trying to move any sort of way, goes for the grounded Sair. And that was a good movement going down right below the D-Sig there, but now Radish with the orb in hand. People have known Radish as an orb main, but no, he decides to throw it away and pick up the gauntlets. Goes for the oh my ground god, the clash! No, no, he makes- he, 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 he does the stage. Okay. Radish is so good. I know that's like one thing that casters always talk about. Y'all, we're sorry. I know we keep bringing it up. Radish is so good with these signatures. It impresses me every single time. Yeah. See, look at that. He always knows when to use them. Even if they don't hit, they do an excellent job of zoning and making sure, no, 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 don't touch that. I'm in control of that space. Look the at this. The side sig does it, and he brings look him down to last stock. Now, he's done this before in tournament against, who did he fight earlier? He fought against Tiffany. He had a, yeah. he had a deficit like this before where he still managed to win. But Impala's a completely different Player opponent. And, and Radish gets the victory. Or Impala gets the victory. 3-0 and oh over Radish. And he I'm will still... be moving on to our winner's finals. Not to discredit him. Radish has already made it into top 8. And is just, uh, uh, just a few games away from, what, top 4? Like he's, I think he's in uh, lower quarters waiting for... Uh, 